it's Mina. Welcome back. Happy Sunday to you all. I hope you're having a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We've had some gray cloudy days for the last few days, so I'm really enjoying this beautiful day. So I wanted to show you the dried results from our Earth Day pour, which turned out really, really cool. This was the one we did with the golf ball. And uh, I figured out a few things with this one that I was really happy actually about. I really love all of the colors, first of all. Thank you again to Fiona for the Artie's colors. And I really like the Thalo Blue, the Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue. Dried so beautifully and dark, and it's such a beautiful contrast against all these other colors. And I really love these swirls from the golf ball. I really like the way that that looks. And that was not the initial pinball where we were wrecking the puddles, but that was after it was most, it was all tilted out already. And I went in and did smaller areas like through here. And I think that that's really cool. So that's something that I kind of want to explore probably in the next pour that we do. Today, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, the color than this one are really, really pretty and really made me think of peacocks. And so I went looking on eBay. Let me get this out of the way. I found this beautiful peacock. So this is what we're gonna pour on today, or we're gonna try to pour on today. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have a few different ideas, and HOA has been bouncing ideas off of me also of how I wanna do it. Um, so this is gonna be fun. I will. I am using the leftover paints from the Earth Day pour, and I have added a couple more to that. So let's move him out of the way for a moment. And the first one we're going to use is Deco Arts Peacock Pearl. But um I haven't actually mixed up a cup of this because I want to kind of spread it on the top head and body part of him as a base coat, maybe all over him as a base coat initially first before I pour anything else. So I'm not actually going to mix it with anything, I'm just going to use it straight out of the bottle. The next one that I have mixed up for today is Artie's Colors. This one's the Dioxazine Purple. Very pretty color. And also the Permanent Violet. Yeah, that one. Which is a darker purple. And we are also using, let's see, let's go through the other list of them. They're turquoise and the phthalo green and their Prussian blue is beautiful. And then I have our cool mint from Modern Masters that we're using and Arteza's glacier blue as well. And then I also have my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And then last but not least, we have some white uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. So this is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and the paint and Floetrol. And this is not mixed with anything. This is just going to be by itself. Okay, so game plan. I'm going to take some of this and just put it on my fingers or squirt it on him and rub it all in because it is ceramic. Um, and it's not finished with anything, so it's a little rough. So I want to rub this in there first, and then we're going to layer a cup, hopefully while that dries a little bit, and we're going to pour on the tail feathers mostly. Okay, let's get started. I'm excited. Okay, this is a really pretty color, and the reason that I'm not mixing it with anything is because it's not very, very thick, and if I mix it with something else, it's going to dull down the color a little bit, or lighten the color and I don't want it to. I want it to be this color. Yeah, see that's a perfect color already. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Aptly named. And we may do another coat of this after it dries. I'm literally putting like a pea-sized amount of paint on my finger. You guys used to paint ceramics with your moms when you were kids? My mom used to take us, <laughs> my brother and I. <laughs> I still have uh, Christmas ornaments that we made. Okay. So now 
Alright, I've got his belly done. On the top of his back. And we're going to do some on his face. I'm going to try to avoid the beak because beaks are not that color. Oh, I need to tell you guys about my apron. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this lovely, lovely lady named Karen messaged me and said she had something fun to send me. And then I got it in the mail the other day. And I'm so excited. It's this lovely apron that says Mina Villegas Art. I'm super, super happy. And she sent me this sweet note. She said, consider this apron your canvas with black negative space. As time goes by, splashes, splashes of paint from each of your pores will come together to create a piece of art. Karen Engelman. Thank you so much, Karen. That's so sweet and thoughtful of you. It just, you know, I was really, really touched and I love it and it's awesome and I'm going to wear it. So thank you very, very much, Karen. If you can message me again and uh, give me your business name if you have one. I'm sure there's several people out there who would love to have an apron made by you. So please message me again. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, I'm really happy with it. I love it. Thank you. Okay. So back to our peacock. Just getting kind of these nooks and crannies filled in over here on the sides. Not go too crazy detail, but you know, I just want a layer of paint on there. That almost looks really cool just to put that with it like kind of soft on there. Okay. All right, so he's looking pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Now let's layer a cup. What do you think this part kind of needs some too, huh? It's probably gonna get so much paint on it already. <laughs> yeah, but. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. It seems to be my motto, anyway. just in case. I can't imagine who I learned that from. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, just in case saved, saved our butts a few times. Yes, it has. Definitely has. Luck favors the prepared, my love. Isn't that what you always say? Yep. Okay. All right. A little bit more in there. I mean, the white area is showing you. I think I got him on eBay. If you Google, um, or if you just search whatever platform you like, Amazon. Amazon has a bunch of stuff, too. Um, eBay also... Just paintable statuary or paintable ceramic figures or ceramic figures raw, unfinished or unpainted. Get creative with your search parameters. <laughs> okay, he looks awesome. All right, so that's good. Um, I'm going to move him over there. I'm going to wipe my hand off real quick. And then let's layer a cup and see how we want to do this exactly. I want to put some gold on his beak. Just rub that in. I'm gonna put it on its eyes too. Hey, okay. Alright, we're gonna take one of these little nine ounce cups and we're gonna layer it and we're gonna pour it kind of going in ribbons. I don't know if you guys saw our turtle mandala pour, how it was a straight pour and I kind of did it in ribbons across there and I want to see if it'll float down. Okay, so let's see. Let's actually start with some of the turquoise and then a little bit of gold and then just a little bit of white. Come in with the darker permanent violet. And then the dioxazine purple. And then a little bit more gold. And then some of our Prussian blue. And some of the glacier blue. And another layer of the purple. 
circle. Back to the turquoise again. Gold. What do you think about the cool mint HOA? I think it's good. Yeah? Okay. I've seen that color on a peacock. Fresh and blue again. First parts are going to go on his tail. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop, start with that. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, baby. Okay, here we go. So we're just gonna kind of do a ribbon pour across. Oh wait, do you think I should start? No, I should start at the tail. Start it there. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna start over here. Okay, yeah, that's a little messier than I wanted, but. Majestic peacock, isn't she? He. he. Yeah, he. The boys get all the pretty plumage. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go up from the top now and just let it roll down. Get the right angle. Wowie wow. I like that a lot actually. <laughs> I think I want to do his body too. Maybe just leave his neck that turquoisey color. Let's put some more paint in here. That's really pretty. Okay, um, let's start with some of this. I'll leave the turquoise in the bottom, so let's keep that up. So would you rather see me wait a little bit? No, I'm going to soon do it. Okay. <laughs> Strike while the iron is hot. Okay, here we go. We're going to go this way. Ready? Yeah. I like that. Some colored inside these little indentations. What do you think? Should we do his chest too or leave that? It's kind of turquoisey already. Yeah. Leave it like that. It's a little what dirty. about his crest? It's really a little... No, I could go like this. It's going to drip on his head, right? 
Tis not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wipe off a little bit of the... No, no we're not. Okay. I think he looks awesome. What do you think? You like the... One more drip. One more drip. Happy? Okay. <laughs> I think that looks really cool. Okay, I'm just gonna take some of the paint and just kind of put it over the base right here. It looks like Gail realized we're painting. <laughs> so I had to close the door. <laughs> She's coming in. Is she? She wants to play. Okay, so I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, the only thing that I do want to do is I did get some... I'm going to turn him so you guys can see. Get a little bit of that darker color on there. I'm just going to go over it with the, the solid color. Just sort of clean that up a little. Stop there with that one. <laughs> I'm going to scrape these drips right into this cup right here. And I will save them and we'll probably use them as a flow extender in our next pour. So, this was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will show you our peacock when she is dry. He is dry. He. So, that's fun. There we go. There's our flow extender for our next pour ready to go. Okay, I'm going to bring him over here so you can see it on the other side. That's pretty cool. I really like it. Awesome. Okay, I'll show you guys this one when it's dry and I probably will just put some eyeliner on him and you know make sure the gold the beak is actually gold so but I like how it's looking so I hope it stays pretty like this. All right thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, this one is our Earth Day pour with, that we did with the golf ball, and I really love the colors, but one of the coolest things that I figured out doing this canvas and this particular pour, which you guys got to see, was after I had stretched it out, then I came back in and I did some additional rolls with the golf ball as smaller detail embellishments, and that's kind of what I want to explore today. So I'm going to put this one back. This was our Earth Day pour, which was so much fun, and we're going to get our canvas. So we're going to try this on a smaller one today. This is a 10 by 20 Artist Loft Gallery Wrap Canvas. And I have taped the back and put the push pins in. So for this size canvas, what we say? We need like seven ounces of paint. So I have just used, we did our peacock board and I scraped my table and these are the drips from that. So I'm going to lay these down as a base coat. Because they're really pretty colors and we're using the same colors. These are actually the same colors that we used in the Earth Day pour and uh, just finishing them all off. Okay, you know, let's just use our spatula and get this nice and smooth. Okay. And I'm gonna rub it into the sides, do some little finger painting, as you guys like to call it. <laughs> And this just ensures that the sides are saturated with color so that your paint can actually roll around and slide on it much easier. We don't leave any bare spots. 
See, we don't want the canvas looking like that when we're done. We want it to actually be covered. So we get some paint on there now. Do that last side. Okay, so what I want to do on this one is kind of a wandering straight pour, and then after we tilt it out a little bit, then I want to use the golf ball to do some smaller embellishments on it. So let's go ahead and layer a cup. This is actually a nine ounce cup, but we won't fill it up all the way, and even if we do, I'm okay with two extra ounces of paint. All right, so you just scoot over. All right, what should we start with? Let's start with a little bit of, let's start with our Prussian blue. gold in there. Oh, I didn't tell you my colors. Okay, just real quick, you want to just aim over here. We've got our turquoise, we've got our phthalo green, Prussian blue, permanent violet, glacier blue, uh, titanium white from Amsterdam, cool mint from Modern Masters, 24 karat gold. That's the dioxazine purple. Okay, that's all of them. All right, so we've got our gold in. Now I want to come in with some of that turquoise. And a tiny bit of white. And some boxes in purple. And some gold again. And a little bit of the permanent violet on the other side of that. And let's go with the glacier blue now. Prussian blue. Dioxys and purple in there. Some more turquoise. Okay, cool mint. <laughs> wandering straight pour across this. I don't know, we might wander around a little bit. Can you see? There we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, baby. Okay, here we go. That's really sneaky. <laughs> okay, let's tilt this out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna actually go, I don't know, we're gonna go down first. Since the weight of the paint is actually down there and we're gonna walk it down nice and gently. So that looks pretty cool. All right, now what we are going to do is get our golf ball and make some pretty things happen, let's hope. Okay. 
Let's see, let's start over here. Again, with the golf ball, go slower. Let's go through that side. stuff and then I think that embellished rolling the golf ball. I see a seagull. I'm gonna say I see a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can well, see. If you use the golf ball and make a crest it could be another peacock. Oh, that's an idea. I like these little gold cells that are popping up right there. And he's even got an eye. Do you see the bird? <laughs> yep. No, I don't want to do anything else to it. I really like it. Okay, so this was kind of awesome. That was really fun and I'm glad that it worked. And I really like the idea of using the golf ball just to add some detail and embellishments after we're done with the tilting. So I think that looks really cool. That's awesome. Made some beautiful lines in here. And we ended up with a bird. So, <laughs> and I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you soon.